Alright, here we go. This is uh, my second uh, second tutorial on FreeCAD. Drop that over there. Okay, uh, this time I'm going to do the uh, same thing. It's going to be a simple, simple rectangle, but I'm going to uh, throw some extra features in there also. So, um, let's get this started. Um, I'm going to uh, click on New, start a new part. I'm going to close out that start page. I don't need it. And I'm going to pull up the part design workbench. And uh, I'm working on this little teeny screen so you can't see all the stuff there. But there's the sketch drop down. And I can also choose to create a sketch right here. So I'm going to fly through this uh, rectangle thing. I'm not going to get too far into it because I already did that in another tutorial. Here we go. I'm going to create a sketch in the XY plane. Hit OK. I'll turn my grid snap on. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. A rectangle. And zero, 0, Drag it out. Let's see. All right. There we go. So uh, let me lock this thing down. I'm going to select this corner. And I'm going to lock that zero, 0. I'm going to get a link for this line right here. And vertical constraint 30. Zoom in here. And it has, it's at 30. And whoop, select this line here. And horizontal. I'm going to drop that at 80. That works for me. And you can see all the lines turn green. And uh, we are good to go in this sketch. So I'm going to close it. I can close that here. And I believe... Yeah, I'm just going to close that right here. Alright, so uh, that sketch. You can see it right there. I'm going to turn that into a pad. And I'm going to extrude it up to 20 millimeters. Alright, and I'm going to hit OK. So now what I want to do is uh, put a, a bolt hole pattern running through this part and I'm going to do it on the face of it right here. See I can select any face and throw holes in there or cut it or do whatever I need to do. So I'm going to select that face and you see over here in tasks uh, several things popped up. Create a sketch, fill a chamfer. I'm going to create a sketch. It's great. It orients it for me and throws up a nice little grid for me to design my stuff on. So what I want to do is create, uh, I'm going to create four holes, clearance holes for some bolts to go through so we can mount this plate to whatever I got to mount it to. All right, so I'm going to start off. Um, Instead of dimensioning to all four holes, I'm going to start off by creating some construction geometry. So I'm going to put a square here and uh, I'm going to fix this point. So I'm going to put that point at uh, four and a half millimeters. And I'll put this one at 10. And let me dimension this one here. That a vertical constraint. And I'll go at uh, 15. And I need to dimension that. Oops. Uh, control Z on that. I clicked on the wrong thing there. I need that one. And I'm going to do this one at uh, 16. All right, everything turned green. That's uh, spiffy, but I need to throw my holes in there. So I'm going to draw some circles. And the beautiful thing about parametric modelers is you can drop stuff wherever you want, however you want, and make it fit like you need it to. So I'm just going to draw these circles all willy-nilly wherever I want, and then I'm going to tell them where to go. So now I'm going to highlight that, highlight that, and 
slap a coincident constraint on those two points. Whoop, there, hey, there goes my circle. And I'll throw another one on there. And I'll throw another one. Oh. Right there. And lock down the last circle. And now you can see these circles are all different sizes. And that's not what we want. I want them to all be the same size. So I'm going to highlight all four circles. And put an equal constraint on all four of them. So now put on some good music. And uh, do your own little equalizer effect there for a second. Enjoy what you've done. All right, fun's over. Highlight that. And we're going to throw a radius constraint on there. And we're going to make those circles 3.5 millimeters. Oh, that's a little close to the edge of the block right there. So we'll go with uh, 2 millimeters. All right, so now everything's green. That's good, that means we're fully constrained. But right now, if I were to uh, extrude this, if I were to make an extruded cut with it, we'd probably end up with some crazy geometry in there. So what I'm gonna do is select that construction geometry right there, and I am going to turn that into construction geometry. So that line with the arrow to the dotted line is uh, notifying you that that is changing to construction geometry. So I'm going to click on that. Notice all the lines turn blue. That means it's uh, construction geometry now. And it won't extrude that when I go to do an extruded cut here. So I'm going to close this. And I'm going to click on pocket. And there's my holes. And I'm going to run them right on through the part so we can mount whatever we need to. Obviously, I could just plug that number in, but it's so much more fun playing with this. There we go. That's all the way through the part. Hit OK. And there you have it. A block with four holes drawn with construction geometry. That's it for tonight. Thanks.